Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel mad? Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find the music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com. Awesome, this is Big K.O. and this is Ghetto Metal, uh, he's a multi-platinum guitarist and producer, a guy with a lot, a big, big career and thankfully we have him here with us today. Hi K.O., how's it going? It's going good man, good to be here, glad to be on your show. Fantastic, likewise, and we're so glad to have you. You know, this is, this is, this is incredible. This is fantastic. Um, you know, you have a lot to offer uh, to, to um, aspiring musicians, to music lovers. You have a, a long career. You have an affiliation with Gibson Guitars. Amazing. So, you know, why don't you take your, uh, the floor and introduce yourself uh, for those who don't know you, please. Hey, well, I'm Big K.O. Uh, I from New York. Uh, I grew up, you know, playing guitar and producing hip hop music and being a DJ. And uh, I've been lucky throughout my career to work with some cool artists. And currently I work with uh, Daryl DMC McDaniel. And we have a really, really dope new single out right now called Ghetto Metal. And it's doing um, really great, man. And I, yeah, I've always just been a guy who just loved music. Um, played a variety of instruments, but the guitar was always my thing. And because of uh, groups like Run DMC, it, it really gave me an identity uh, of who I wanted to be musically and, and kind of like what I wanted to, to pattern myself after as, as a young man. So I'm very lucky and, and honored to work with DMC and I'm, I'm glad everybody's enjoying the single. I'm sure they will. This is this is top quality, and um, you know what's uh, what's your part in this particular song, Ghetto Ghetto Metal. Uh, well, Ghetto Metal, I produced it, and um, I played all the guitar parts that you hear on it um, are played by me. I played lead and rhythm guitar on it, as well as bass, and uh, I produced and arranged it as well. So um, really, uh, I was able to shape this record from top to bottom as a producer and, and a musician and it was code written um, by myself and DMC so it's uh, really awesome and, and, and an honor to, uh, to be affiliated with a record um, with, a, with an artist like DMC so uh, esteemed in his career it's a blessing absolutely um, this sounds incredible so your, your chops as a producer is absolutely uh, accredited here And um, so tell us a little bit of, like you were saying, of your beginnings and especially uh, the scene in New York. Um, you know, did you have to travel outside of New York? Did you spend your career? How, how, how was that? So especially for those who are trying to follow your steps, in a little, uh, you know, in a, in a sense. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I came up in the late 80s and I, I was, that was probably the golden era uh, of hip hop uh, during that time. And uh, also probably like a, a really defining moment for rap music as well. So that, I was a teenager at that time, and I was able to like really blend all of these influences together um, at that time. And, and that really de uh, developed who I was as, a, as an artist and a young man. But the scene at that time was, was great. Um, 
uh, we're talking uh, about the hip hop in its infancy, and uh, it was really a new music. It hadn't really exploded worldwide yet, but you know, even back then, Run DMC were the kings of hip hop and the kings of music. So um, it, 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 it was just a glorious time. And in terms of uh, like heavy metal and hard rock, I, I was a kid that was into that stuff too. Growing up um, on Saturdays, uh, it used to be Young TV Raps and Headbangers Ball came on right after one another. So it was the main hip hop show and the main hard rock show on TV um, all night on Saturday night. So it was a great time to absorb culture. And um, it was a time when everyone was coming together and there was a sense of unity. And um, I, I think uh, that's what Run DMC music, you know, represent. You know, Song Like Walk This Way help bring millions together and um I, that's what me and dmc like to do with our music and um uh and so you know growing up in the 80s at the time it was really a golden era and it was a classic time it absolutely it absolutely uh, was i think it's it's probably one of the more prolific times uh in general for cinema for music And, and really the merge, the convergence of those two genres, yeah, right? Like you're saying, the uh, sure. metal. Amazing. And, uh, it was fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So you've been, what have you been doing lately, all of these years? Uh, tell us, recently, we've been working before this, and uh, if you want, a, a little bit of your recent. Yeah, um, sure. Um, well, leading up to working with, with Daryl, I, I had... Um, produced for Proof from B12, um, who unfortunately uh, was uh, murdered in 2006, but he he was the one that really influenced me to go after the rock sound, because I had a uh, knack for finding, like, obscure rock samples, and, um, and at that same time, I, I was one of the only guitarists that was able to play over um, the hip-hop tracks I was doing as well. So Bruce was like, look, you need to continue to do um, the rock bass track because, you know, that's a sound that not many people can do. So I worked with Proof. I worked with 50 Cent um, on um, his score and movie soundtrack for Get Mr. Back Shine. Um, I worked with Jim Jones on um, his Hustle's home album. I did a whole bunch of hip-hop records um, like really leading up to working with DMC. But uh, after I did a bunch of those records, I, I, I took some time off to really perfect my craft and um, and try to become a better guitarist. And um, during that time, when I took some time off to do that, is when I met DMC. And he was at a point in his career where he needed a producer that really understood his sound and where he was coming from throughout his whole career. This is after he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So he really had nothing to prove to anyone. Um but himself. Right. So um, I wanted to make some great music for him, and uh, we did that. So um, we started working together in 2013. We had a record called Hellraiser um, that also had um, PMD from EPMD, MC Search from Third Base, and Chuck B and Terminator X from Public Enemy. So that was DMC and I's first single, so it took me a while to be able to come up with something to match that because there's a lot of legends on that record. Um, so um, we, uh, eventually me and Daryl wound up doing, you know, six records and um, Ghetto Metal um, is our sixth and I feel it's our best. DMC says that he feels it's the best record in his career, which is a little scary, but I, I think what he means is that it's, it's a solo DMC classic um, that can stand up with any one DMC classic, and um, I'm very proud to be able to give that to him, and um, I'm just super proud to be able to um, to work with him. So that's been a little bit of my journey. Um, a lot of hip-hop stuff um, that was successful leading up until working with, with DMC. Now I'm at a point where I, I just want to work just with him and also just making myself as the artist because I have a great three-piece band that kicks butt and... Um, So, you know, my band goes out in the road and we back DMC up when necessary, or we do our own gigs and he comes out um, as a surprise guest. So, um, kind of what we do, uh, he likes to liken it to um, 
Flash and Miles Kennedy, kind of what they do. Um, just it's kind of the same thing what we do, except we just do it um, on a uh, on a hip hop and and rock level as opposed to just a strictly rock level. So it's a great partnership, man. I love working with him, and honestly, um, it, it, it's it's a, a once again it's an honor and a blessing. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. And um, do you uh, want to talk about your your personal band, uh, the name of the project, and uh, you have any dates? Already? Yeah, sure. Sure. I mean, like, look, we have a ton of uh, DNC and I have a ton of awesome new stuff coming out. Um, we have records with Billy Gibbons coming out from ZZ Top. We have records with uh, Orangey, um, the most amazing female female guitarist of all time. Uh, coming out um we uh but my band the knockout um who supplied the music for all of our singles is uh consists of uh myself uh my drummer east from molina um and my bass player rich clemson and we are a trio a hard-hitting um power trio very similar to mountain um but even more dangerous um being that we're from new york we try to get loud we are super super heavy and um when people look at me and they look at my background in hip-hop no one expects me to play the guitar no one expects me to have a band which is why i'm able to come out and really shock people and get attention from from great journalists like yourself because um you know it, I, i think the music that me and my band do are unique uh especially in the urban hip-hop format like uh we can um our band my band can sound like any sample i want it to sound like or as well as any band I want to sound like because of my hip hop background. But when it's time for us to show our stuff on originals and really blow someone off the stage, um, I'm very well capable to do that um, because I'm a gunslinger um, in terms of being a guitar player. Um, you know, they, uh, a, a black guy with a guitar is uh, can be super dangerous musically. Uh, you know, I, I'm looking to hop up on stage And I'm ready to show what I can do um, uh, against really anybody. And that comes back to me being a hip hop DJ. I have that battle mentality. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, it's all good. It's all for the sake of music. And um, I love it. So the band is great. We're a hot three piece. We're called the Knockout. Knockout. And uh, you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing and hearing a lot more of uh, in the upcoming months. Absolutely, we'd love to. Um... The merch, and you can tell in, in this particular song you said you have playing now the the uh, how well the genres are mixed. It sounds really powerful, and uh, you know we love to hear about the knockouts. And uh, so, being in New York, um, you know, being uh, supposed in all the uh, venues, the Lancers. Uh, you you know everywhere in Lower East Side. Like, where do you normally play that people can go see you? Uh, right now, um, because it's freezing in New York, um, <laughs> my band is in Florida right now, and um, uh, we're based out of New York and Florida. And um, in the colder months, we like to come down here and jam and work on our music and record because it's it's a lot better than recording. <laughs> In, in, in the northeast during yes. the winter months <laughs> yeah. um so yeah we're down here rehearsing and jamming um we have um shows um after a promo tour that starts at the end of february and we're zigzagging across florida and then we're coming up to the northeast for a couple of club dates which i'll, I'll keep you uh, up, up to date about um basically yeah we're hitting the road when the weather gets a little warmer and um the covid restrictions lift a little bit and we're doing but We're going to be doing some very exciting um, pop-up performances on uh, DMCMI, DMC and I, backed by the knockout. Um, and we're going to be doing that at some major events coming up. So it'll be events that will be really impactful, um, some network TV stuff that I can't talk about. But you'll be seeing the band and DMC and I out on the road like this spring. And I, I really want everybody to come out and just, like check it out because um, – If you're into um, hip hop, if you're into rock, if you're into heavy metal, if you're into blues, if you're into funk, if you're into soul, and you're into classic throwback music, when you come out and check out um, Big KO and the Knockout, along with DMC or DMC and the Hellraisers, um, 
it, when we all come out together, it's, it's an amazing night of uh, good time and great music. So I look forward to seeing everybody out there. So there you go. Uh, soon, very soon, you're going to hear a lot more about Big K.O., his band, The Knocked Out, DMC. And we're looking forward to it. Uh, absolutely very, very excited. So... Um, you want to talk about this affiliation you have with uh, Gibson guitars? How do you how do you hit that? Like the, um, you know, where you come about? Um, yeah, that that honestly has been uh, the biggest blessing uh, and motivational factor in my career in the past year. Um, you know, Gibson they have millions of players. They're the most Themed and legendary guitar brand on the planet. So just, just to get on their radar in any capacity was huge. But, um, you know, there was no secret to it. I just, you know, really played my heart out. I believed in what I was playing. And I just, like everyone else doing right now, I just kind of posted videos and did my thing. And I got, it got noticed by the right people within the company. Um, a good friend of mine, Al John Go, who is the uh, president of um, Epiphone. He, um, I kind of linked up with him and got to know him and he kind of brought me into the family and then I just had to continue to play and just show them that I'm, I'm someone that is worthy of uh, representing their brand. And um, um, sometime in 2020, I was lucky enough to uh, get full support and be followed by all the uh, social media pages. And then the president uh, of uh, Gibson, uh, Mr. Cesar Gutin, Um, you know, followed me on Instagram and, and once he put his arm around me, um, things really took off. I was able to go to Nashville and, and meet all the amazing people at Gibson. Um, Mr. Jim DeCola at, at the Gibson factory um, worked for my guitars and it's just been an absolutely amazing experience uh, to really be affiliated in any way with Gibson brands. Um, um, I'm the type of player, I'm, I'm extremely loyal to um, products that I believe in and brands I believe in and Gibson is, is, is a brand that I'm gonna that I've been with my whole career um, since I was a kid before I even you know was making music professionally and now as a professional um, I'm at Gibson and I'm never ever going anywhere else um, because they make the best guitars in the world and um, so shout out to uh, um, Mark Agnese uh, Al John Go my man Cesar um, and Jim DeCola at, at Gibson and everyone that makes these amazing guitars that I, I, I'm honored to play. Absolutely. Fantastic brand. Um, actually, the first guitar I ever had was an Epiphone and I still have it and I have many Gibsons and they're fantastic. Epiphones are amazing. Um, I actually have one of my main guitars right now is a, uh, Epiphone 58 Flying G and it's Truly amazing. Epiphones are something on guitars that you can take from the studio to the stage, and um, it's just another extension of Gibson brands. Um, I actually play Kramer guitars as well, um, so you know I have Gibson, Epiphones, and Kramers, and uh, I couldn't. Again, like you said, I think everyone probably has either a Gibson or an Epiphone in their collection. They're just amazing guitars. They are. Um... So for Gibson, I'm sure they're proud to have you, um, and um, I'm really glad that you know everything's working out so well for you. Uh, we're very excited about the upcoming dates that you're going to be out with your band, the Knocked Out, and um, you know just to be mindful of your time and really you know very grateful to to have you. Uh, but if you had um, a a an advice for your younger self or somebody who's getting started what do you think that'd be keep playing two words keep playing keep playing um it's very simple if you're a guitar player bass player keyboard player uh but you can also um you know um compare it to your life keep playing keep living um at times you're going to wake up and in your career and in your life no matter how successful you are and i've been at all levels where you're not going to feel like playing 
And I'm here to tell you great things happen when you can just tell yourself to keep playing. So um, any advice I would say is to my younger self and to the young cats out there that are picking up any instrument is to keep playing and to keep on pushing. Good advice. All right, so this was Big KO. Um, we are very proud and very grateful to have you, such uh, a musician of, of great caliber, and really all the best. Thank you again for your time, and uh, hopefully... Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's been awesome. Thank you. Likewise, likewise. All right, until the next one, and in the meantime, uh, we're going to enjoy a little bit more of Ghetto Metal. All the best. Ready to roll, Kurt. Now look, remember, do it right this time, and I want rock and roll, baby. I met this little black kid with a rock guitar. He said, TMC, I know who you are. Everybody knows that you're king of the rock. Are you tired of the typical libraries with conventional music that makes you feel mad? Introducing Lyrics.com, the music website made for and by minds like you. Our team are lifelong musicians and producers in love with music. Search the Lyrics music catalogs and find music with guaranteed originality. Mark the difference with music of signature at lyrics.com.